everybody, this is Caroline Raven. Welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through my top 100 decks of cards. Of course, you're gonna see some of my favorite designers and most of all, just, you know, a walkthrough of my 100 favorite decks. If you're new here, my name is Caroline Raven. I do playing card reviews, do some magic tricks, and also help you with the business side of showbiz. So without further ado, I say we get started. I think we should actually start from the beginning. First, when we talk about cards, we're gonna have to talk about like my actual favorite ones. And this was the very first deck that I did together with Lorenzo and probably my favorite work uh, till this day. I mean, of course I love all of the other ones, but this was the first one. And I remember when I had it in my hand for the first time, I was crying. There is actually a video of that. I'm gonna see if I can find that. It's my forever number one favorite. This is the Crimson Red. I absolutely love this deck. This was printed by USPCC. It's just perfect. So this one goes first, my number one. After that, we have the, the buddy in the series. This was the... Patrol Green, also from the very first launch of Raven Playing Cards. We did another Kickstarter campaign, a really short one, where we created Purple Haze. That is the purple one. And then for number three, we actually changed a lot of things. So this was number three. This is Money. This one goes here. And then we have Soul Chocolate Box. And then we added another one. We added the Eclipse. How cool is this? But for those super fans of you, you know that we created the Raven Summer Ale as well. And I'm gonna keep this one that I really like with Lorenzo's autograph. We created this because there were 231 extra decks of cards for, for Soul. So we didn't have enough boxes. So we ended up purchasing new boxes and made them into a super limited edition. And now of course Raven 4 is just being printed and I don't have the actual decks here but I'm gonna put them in anyways. So we have the red one and the blue one. This is so cool. Also for the new ones, we changed the back. Then my favorite box so far. Take a look at this box. I also love it with the, um, the signatures. Since I work with Lorenzo, he's obviously my favorite designer. So of course, I have all of his work as well. Some of the earlier work, this is his uh, bicycle deck that he did. This was like, this was way back. Like I wanna say 2013, 14 maybe. These are also really, really cool. Super early work, 2014, Heretic. This I really like too. This is a very special box. Just like the black edition. Also really cool box. Then we have La Charouche. Look at this. This is so cool. With the cutout in the box that he keeps coming back to. Then we have Gemini. I'm not sure I have all of them. Lorenzo, do I have all of them? There is the red one with a really cool back. With the Gemini symbol, which you can also find in Raven playing cards, just so you know. We have the orange one. And there is a black one. Not sure which way is up. Probably my favorite when it's not like Raven playing cards. It is the house of the rising spade. This is gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. The box on this blew my mind. If you haven't seen the review I did of these, I'm gonna put it right up here because you're gonna have to watch that later on. Then he did a project together with Gentleman Awake. We have the results right here. This was the parlor playing cards. This is the red one. Also amazing deck. Of course, there was a blue one also, and it comes in black and gold. Dynasty. This is really cool, you guys. One of my absolute favorite decks. This one was part of the House of the Rising Spade. This is a limited edition of 680 decks. Room 17 variant, gilded. Mm -hmm. I love how the box is so, the box is just so embossed. It's so, so great. <laughs> run through these a little quicker except for the ones that I really think you should pay more attention to. We have the Brass Mine deck. I think this is really cool. This was one of my uh, earlier favorites. We have the Keepers, the green and the blue. I really think the green one especially has a really cool color. I have to do it. There is one knock deck. You know, I like playing cards. It needs to be there. I'm sorry. 25 years of magic deck that I got at Magic Live. So this one goes in the collection. Four different variants of Jet Setter playing cards. We have the black, red, blue, and green. This one. This one is really cool. I got this at the merch party for USPCC and Cartamundi, and this is so, so cool. I absolutely love it. It's super limited edition, and uh, 
It's great. Of course I have it in my collection. This is a Jerry's Nugget and I have more of them in like a special box. So this one goes in here. Then we have, of course, some chicken nuggets. Uh, the black one, blue one, and red one. Well, I do have to have my Daniel Madison decks, don't I? So, one of these, and we have the Charlie playing cards. This one I actually like a lot. This was really, really cool. Rebellion Rum. This is gorgeous. I mean, the box is amazing. This has a, like an uncoated paper that has embossing, so I'm obviously gonna like it because that's what we ordered for, for Raven 4. One of my favorite decks I ever reviewed is the Cobra deck, and I just got the Falcon deck in the mail not too long ago, so there will be a review of this one as well, but I have to say, love it. Then we have my friend Borderline Adam, who took a photo that is in my office. Uh, you can see it here because I just moved it. It has two decks that I really like. Here is the Focus Aperture Exposure. I don't know what he calls this deck, but it's really, really cool. Untitled Fluid Cards. These one I also think are really, really cool. Of course, we have some cherries. We have two of the Nata deck. We have this one that I really like and this one that I really like. They also have that uncoated white paper. I really love it. Then we have the peelers. These are really cool, the banana cards. And my favorite city in the world, Sin City. These are also really cool. The box especially is really good. Then we have the Knights. Also a deck that I think everyone should have in their collection. Nice one. And then we have the Tale of the Tempest. This is the prototype. It's still not out yet. So this one goes in here as well. We have the Malam cards. I think these are really nice. Also again, I like these mainly because of the box. The box is really, really nice. Also, I need to have the birds, right? This was actually the first deck that I ever got from Kevin Ho. This is, uh, of course, signed by Kevin. He used the V to get it to Kevin. Clever, clever. And then we have the green one. Also, I'm a very big fan of Monarchs. Again, probably because of, you know, the box. It has a really matte, really cool box. Just the same as Cobra and Falcon. Three of these, I have one green, one purple, and one red one. This is one of my absolute favorite ones. Um, I should probably have this in a safe or something. This was a prototype, one of the first ones. Uh, Andre gave it to me. It's one of 500 prototypes, black and gold. Really nice. I have the gold one as well. Thank you, Andre. The Cardistry Con from 2016. First Cardistry Con, and only actually Cardistry Con that I ever attended. And we have a wonderful wieners. If you haven't seen that review, right up here, super funny. Gotta have some zombie cards. This is probably the deck that my friends play with the most. I'm not sure you've seen this before. A lot of people haven't seen this. I think this is really beautiful. It's um, apes. I don't know who made this actually. It's a really, really beautiful deck and the back is really cool too. I never play with it, I never bring it out. I don't think I've ever like showed it to anyone really. But all the court cards have uh, like birds and you know, uh, feathers. Like take a look at this ace. It's really cute, isn't it? Really nice deck and the box is amazing. And everything is amazing with this. Also they have, they have a really cool seal with uh, birds on them. You're gonna love this. We come to the inspiration for Raven playing cards. We have the Cardist Retouch. Of course, then we have the original. This was, I also got this at Cardist Recon 2016. And we have the second edition, which was the, uh, what was this one called again? This was a Pulse, really nice too. Then we have my nephew's favorite cards, the Draconians. We have both the green, the wild wildfire, and the original like white one. Isn't it the original? I think so. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, that's fine. Dapper deck from Vanishing Ink. Also really, really cool deck. I like how they use the box to uh, have that cutout thing. Really, really nice. A deck from Lux playing cards that I enjoy playing with. A couple of decks from Lux actually. We have this one and the red one. So these are printed by Legends and mm, sometimes yay, sometimes nay. Mm, they did a good job on these. Also, I am a big fan of JP games. So here we go. Shin Lim's Regalia, the black hole. This one is also really cool. The skull, you gotta have a first. These actually actually remind me of each other very much, don't they? I mean, they're not the same, of course, but it kind of feels like they they both are talking about the world. <laughs> and yeah, here we are. I mean, take a look at this. And then look at this. Kind of feels the same. Also, this is probably one of my favorite boxes. Really, really, really cool. Only 20 more to go. Yes. This is a limited edition as well. This was a gift after a dinner that I had in Vegas with a couple of friends. So this means, uh, you know, friendship, I guess. 
Joker and the Thief. These used to be one of my favorites too. It's the Mirage decks. I really like these ones. I think the red one is probably... No, the green one is probably my favorite. The Killer Bees. Also like this a lot. We have these. I like these a lot. And also I like the Queens. Especially now with the, the Queen's Gambit. Have you seen it? Have you seen Queen's Gambit yet? You gotta have a Fontaine in your collection. I chose the pink one. Not true. I didn't have to pay for the pink one. So that's why I ended up with that one. We have the Truth and the Lies. Also really cool deck. Session together with a white flower signed by Jack Nobile, the creator of this deck. If you haven't checked out Jack Nobile yet and you speak Italian, go check out his channel. He's actually really, really talented. And even if you don't speak Italian, you're gonna absolutely love his videos. And uh, well, actually not the really long ones because they're obviously in Italian, uh, but he has some really, really cool tutorials on his Instagram on how he takes amazing photos. These are also really, really cool. And we have the Guy Hollingsworth deck that I really think is cool. The Mark deck that is uh, actually pretty cool. Also, I like the design on that very much. This one, I think this is cool. It reminds me of my design. These used to be my absolute favorite card. It's the Orbits. So I was in New York in February and I was at this party, right? And uh, there was a lot of magicians and cardists there. I see this guy and I don't really recognize him. And he comes up to me and he goes, oh, hey, Caroline, how are you? And I was like, do I know you? Yeah, it's me, Chris, from Orbit. Oh my god, I'm such a fan! And I had no idea what he looked like. Really, 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 really nice man, by the way. I absolutely enjoyed myself so much, hanging out with him. That can't be said with every magician, to be honest. <laughs> and then we have my friend Madi's cards. These and these. There you go in here. And there's a lot of gold in here. So there you have it, my top 100 decks. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.